In this video, I want to show you how to make these really cute fall themed candy dishes using mostly items from the Dollar Tree and some flower pot saucers that I picked up at Walmart. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make them. Alrighty, let us get started. So, of course, like you already know from the beginning of the video, these are candy dishes and I love to make candy dishes, candy holders, whatever you want to call them because they're so versatile. You know, you can decorate them any way you like. I have them for Christmas. I have them for Easter. I have them all over my house. And you know what? They're really easy, just like my ex-husband's girlfriend. But they're really easy to put together. Like I said, you can decorate them for any holiday that you want. And for this one, I just want to do a fall themed one. So I'm going to keep my colors really muted and I don't want them to be all glammed up like my Christmas ones. So all I'm going to be using for decoration on these really is some of this brown ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree. It has some little gold leaves on it. And I'm going to be using these little pumpkins. These are salt and pepper shakers from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to open them up. You can see just on one side, there's only holes on one side. So if that's facing towards the back, nobody's going to see it. And they have like these cute little leaves on them. Of course, the leaves are toward the front. You can't see the holes at all. The little plugs on the bottom. I think I'll leave those on. I don't think I'm going to have to take those out. I'll just leave those in. You're going to need two of these little terracotta saucers. I got these at Walmart. They're really cheap. I think there's like 70 cents, something like that. I don't know, really cheap. These are the four and a quarter inch ones. You're going to need three of these candle holders from Dollar Tree. Two of these glass vases from Dollar Tree. And whatever color spray paint you want. I'm going to be using this uh, flat protective enamel from Rust-Oleum in the color flat brown. Um, cause yeah, I don't want these to be all glitzy and glammed up. I want them to be pretty muted, um, for the fall. I don't want a bunch of glitter or anything like that. You're going to need a hot glue gun. And the only reason for that is to just put a little bit of dot, a glue on the ribbon when you, when you decorate it later. I'll show you, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So you don't need a whole lot of hot glue. And you're going to need some of this E6000. This is really excellent for gluing together glass. You can get this at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, you know, anywhere they sell crafts. But basically all that I did is I took two of these candle holders and I used the E6000 and I glued them together, the small ends together, and that's going to create the base for my taller candy dish. I'm going to set that to the side. And then I'm going to take these and we're going to paint the, the saucers and our candle holders with the spray paint. So I'm going to take that outside and do that. Spray it with one good coat, let it dry, another good coat, let it dry. Usually usually three coats of this paint is more than what you need. It's, it's good enough so you don't need to just keep going over and over it. Then I'm going to take my E6000 and I'm going to put just a line of it around my pumpkin like this and I'm going to glue it down right on top of the saucer. Now the saucer is going to fit onto our vase like this. You can get a smaller one and flip them this way so that it can sit down inside the glass. But I did that, I believe it was last year, and I set it down a little too hard. And because of this wedge shape and it fit down inside the glass, I guess it pushed out with too much force and it busted the glass. So that's why I'm saying to, to have the bigger size and set it down on top of the vase like this. Okay, so I'm going to go paint all my stuff. I'm going to glue my pumpkins on top, and then we'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, everything is painted, and this is what the candlesticks look like, and this is what the saucer looks like, and I do have my little pumpkin already glued down. Now, um, I thought that I was out of this ribbon. This ribbon came from the Dollar Tree as well. I don't know if y'all can see that very well, the way the light's shining on it. Yes, I've got paint all over my hands. Um, it's brown ribbon and it has pumpkins all over it. So I'm going to use that instead of the ribbon that I had with the leaves on. I thought that I was out of this and I was sweeping and I pulled my uh, one of my shelving units out to sweep behind it and I found this laying back behind it. So another thing that I want to say here is I have this twine and you know how you have an idea for a project in your head? And then when you sit down and start to do it, you get more ideas and more ideas. Well, that's what this turned into. And as you can see on this one, I just took the twine and I wrapped around the base of the pumpkin to try to help close up that extra little gap there. And then I did two lines 
around the little indentations of the saucer and I went ahead and glued the glass on it because I was playing around with the idea and I wanted to see what it would look like um, and then I glued a piece of the ribbon around the flat part of the candlestick and a few more little pieces of the twine and then I glued a piece of the twine down here at the bottom so now I'm going to decorate this one let's see which side that I want to be the back I guess this will be the back so to decorate all of it I'm just going to cut a piece of ribbon let's see which is right right side up here and then I'm going to just put a blob of hot glue and put my ribbon down just like that just wrap it around and put another little blob of glue and glue it down and then once that glue hardens up and holds in place I'll come back and I'll trim off that extra ribbon and now I'm just going to cut another piece I got glue strings and paint and stuff all over me good lord and if you've ever made any of these before like I said I make plenty of them um, you might see that these little candle holders a lot of times they don't fit together flush so you might have a tiny little gap in some places and that's okay because we're going to use that twine to cover up that gap this twine here came from Walmart but the Dollar Tree carries it as well it comes in a three pack of brown uh, two rolls of brown and a roll of green you can get it over in the automotive section so three spools of that for a dollar that's that's not bad okay so I have that trimmed down now I'm going to take my smaller glue gun here because the nozzle is a lot smaller and I want a finer line for this I'm just going to put a little line of hot glue right there I just put some of that twine there I'm gonna go ahead and cut it just wrap it around and you can kind of feel around the front if it's laying flush against your uh, your candle holder I'm just gonna put another little blob right there just like that I'm gonna let that set up and then I'll trim the ends off of that and then I'm going to do that again on each of the edges of my ribbon it kind of helps to break up all of the brown and just gives it a little bit of extra something something y'all know I like to embellish the bejesus out of stuff that's kind of what I'm doing now I'm just going crazy with my my decorating here so I'm going to do that on this piece of ribbon as well and then we're going to close up that gap there in the center See, this is going to be the very back, so nobody's going to see this. This is actually going to be up against a wall. So, um, yeah, nobody's going to see that. Just trim it as flush as you can. And then I'm going to take a piece. I'm going to wrap it around this little center part where they join. Another piece on the top and bottom of this piece of ribbon. And I'll come back and I will show you how I glue it around the bottom. And I'll show you a little trick here to attach the vase to the top of this. Okay, now I have all of the twine. Well, my camera's moving. My cat's in here playing with it. Okay, and I've got all of my twine glued onto there. And the only thing that I'm going to do with this lid, I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch me glue twine again, is you can see with this one, I just started at the back of the little pumpkin, just glued a piece of twine around the base of it, and then two more around the indentions of the saucer here. Okay, now... Let me get this into place. Our other little vase here, as you can see, it's not quite big enough to sit, you know, comfortably for me to glue this down onto the top of this here. And if you've watched my other videos, like when I'm making wreaths and I have something hollow, like the hollow plastic spiders that I was um, gluing onto the wreath, I like to fill it up with hot glue to give it sort of like a flat back so that it can be attached to something else and that's what I'm going to do here I'm going to take my big glue gun and all I'm doing here is I'm just going to fill this cavity up you can use caulk you can you can use whatever you want to I'm just using the hot glue because it's what I have on hand and it's a lot cheaper 
you know, just to take one or two glue sticks out of the pack, fill the thing up and use it that way. But you can take this, this glue and I'm just going to fill this all the way up until this is flush. And then that will give us, uh, where are my, my glue sticks here? And that's going to give us a, um, a flat surface to work on. Of course, um, I can't find my glue sticks. Oh, my cats were in here earlier playing with stuff. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to fill it all the way up, not up to this line. I'm going to fill it all the way up. Let that completely harden. And then I will use my E6000 to attach my glass to it. Just set it straight down on top. So we don't really need to see that on camera either. That's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. But this is what the smaller one looks like. And I'm going to put some candy corn in it that I also got from the Dollar Tree. And fill it up and go set it on my shelf. So I'm going to pause the video one more time, I think, just so that y'all can see what I'm talking about with this hot glue. I'm going to pause the video one more time, go dig out more glue sticks, and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like once it's filled up and hardened. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. See, I have this filled up with hot glue. Now, when you're working with this much hot glue, please protect yourself like I have like my aloe plant here in my craft room I've got a lot of lavender essential oil I've got a glass of ice water and in my lap I have a towel that's folded double you know covering any exposed part of my legs because when you're working with this much hot glue if you should knock this over if your cat or whatever should knock it over you're, you're going to hurt yourself so please please be careful with that but um now that this is full of the hot glue all I'm going to do is I'm going to let it harden now I'll just put a big swirl of my E6000 and then I'll glue my vase to it, put my candy in it, and that will be that. So I do apologize for all of the breaks that was in this video, but yeah, these type of things involving paint and stuff, you know, it has a lot of steps to it. So if you would, please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media. I'll have the links to all of those in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.